Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's session, we are going to discuss one more method of how to find cube of numbers in Vedic math. Name of this method is Nikhilam method. We have already discussed two methods. I have already made videos on the Yagdanam method as well as on the Anurupendi method, right? If you recall the first method, which is Yagdanam method, in that method, there were certain limitations. Like you can find out cube of the numbers only if they are closer to multiple of 10, that is 10, 100, 1000 or so on, right? So, in this method, we can overcome that limitation and here also we need to use one equation and let me write that equation, then I will explain you step by step what do we need to do. So, first one is A plus 2 times B times sub base square. Now, this term is little bit new to you, which is sub base that I will explain you later on. Now, this is my first step or I can say first term. Second one is 3 times square of deviation times sub base and last step is cube of the deviation. This step is similar to the Yagunam method but these two steps are different. Now what is sub base that we need to see right. Now let's say we need to find out cube of 32. So I need to find out cube of 32. So I can say that what is my base. See it is its base is still 10 right but I can say that in this case my base is 13. Okay, and 30 is multiple of 3 times 10. I can write it like this. So, this 3 is what it is? Sub base. Got it? My base is 3 and L sub base is 3. So, I can say that my sub base is 3. Now, how much is the difference? Difference is, what is A that you know very well? A is the number to be cubed, which is 32. And I can say that, now what do I need to find? I need to find out difference, or you can say deviation, which is 32 minus 30. So, its value is 2. So, you are having sub base. You are also having value of A and you are also having value of B in these two. Now we need to substitute these values over here. So how much is my A plus 2 times B? So A plus 2 times B times sub base square. So my A is 32. 32 plus 2 times D, 2 times difference which is 4 and sub base square, sub base is 3, square is 9. So I can say that 32 plus 4 which is 36 and 36 times 9. If we do so, 4, 5 as carry, 9, 3 is 27 and 27 plus 5 which is 32. So, 324, this is my first term. Second term is 3 times b square. So, 3 times square of the deviation which is 4 and sub base is how much which is 3. So, 3, 4 is 12, 12, 3 is 36. Second term is 36 and d cube is how much? d cube is 700 and sorry d is 2 so it is 8 right. So now if I substitute values over here I can say that this term is 324. Another term if we took 3d square term this is 36 and last term which is 8. And now last and final step is bring this 8 down, no carry, bring this 6 down, we will go as carry and if I add 3 to this, it will become 327. So, I can say that cube of 32 is 3, 2, 7, 6, 2. This is how you can solve this. We will see some more examples so you can get clear idea about it. Now, Let's consider one more example that you need to find out cube of 58. So I can say that what is the value of A? A is 58. What is my base? My base is 50. And what is my sub base? My sub base is 5 because this is 5 times 10, right? And how much is the difference? Difference is difference between these two which is 8. So if we talk about the first term. Then my first term is, now I am going to write them over here. So, first term is A plus 2 times B. So, 58 plus 16 times sub base square which is 25. 3 D square times sub base. So, 3 times D square 
which is deviation is 64 and time sub base which is 5 and cube of the 8 which is 512. Now friends you can see that numbers are greater right so we, if we add these numbers I can say that this is 74 times 25 and this is if we multiply them you can go with both the methods I will do 34 times 15 and this is 512. Now how you can do this 74 times 25 I can do it as 74 times 20 plus 74 times 5. If we do so, 74 times 5, 0, 2 as carry, so this is 37, and 0, then 4 times 2 is 8, and uh, 7 times 2, which is 14. So if we add them, 0, 5, 8, 1. So I can say that this is 1, 8, 5, 0. Similar way, we can go with this. I'm going to do it over here, 64 times 15, so 64 times 10, plus 64 times 5. I am using distributive property. Okay, so this will become 640 and this will become half of it which is 320. So if we add both of them, it is 960. And this is 512. Now, if we do last step, my base is multiple of 10, so I should take this one digit down. So this 2 is down, 51 goes and carry. So this will become 1011. So I will bring this one down and I will take these as carry with this one. One zero and one is going to be added. So one, five, nine, and one. So its cube is I can see that one nine five one one and two. You can check it with calculator. So now here you can see that we have. Uh, overcome the limitations of the Yaudunam method in which you can do only if the number is closer to multiple of the 10. Now, even if the number is 58 or 72 or 95, anything, then also you can follow this method. So, hope you have understood all the methods of the Vedic method, how to find cube of numbers. Friends, you have really enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. If you have not subscribed my channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe it by pressing the bell icon. Keep watching videos on my channel. Thank you.